Ce mercredi, Demon de Mallette recevait le titre de MVP de notre championnat. Après avoir régalé le public Carolo tout au long de la saison, le Spirou a totalisé 129 points au référendum en devançant la Lostois Young. C'est certain, c'est un honneur pour moi, commente Dimon Manet. C'est le travail qui paye sur l'ensemble de la saison. Je vous suis vraiment reconnaissant. C'est un plaisir de recevoir ce prix parce qu'il y avait d'autres joueurs talentueux dans cette ligue. Je voulais juste montrer que j'étais un des meilleurs joueurs du championnat et aussi d'Europe. Je suis vraiment content. Mon meilleur moment restera la qualification pour l'Euroleague. Être capable de réussir ça après une décennie, c'était étonnant. Pour le moment, l'important, ce sont les playoffs. Nous sommes premiers avec l'avantage du terrain. C'est un moment très excitant pour moi. C'est là où on voulait être cette saison et on a travaillé dur pour y parvenir. L'adversaire le plus dangereux dans ces playoffs pour moi Je vais dire Ostend. Avec une grosse présence physique, à l'intérieur notamment, et de la profondeur de banc. J'aime être ici au Spirou. C'est mon port d'attache pour le moment. Et je ne pense pas à d'autres clubs. Mon but maintenant est de finir la saison en gagnant le championnat. Ce soir, jouer contre le Maccabi, qui est une des meilleures équipes d'Europe, c'est un bon test pour nous avant les playoffs. Et ce fut en effet le cas dans un match spectaculaire où les Spirou ont fait jeu égal avec leur prestigieux invité. À l'image du score, 22-17. 37-43 à la mi-temps, 58-61 et 83-87 avec les stars du Maccabi en évidence, Pargo, Edson et le Colosse Scorzalitis. Les Spirou sont prêts pour les playoffs.
boring with uh, the system. <laughs> That's very boring. That's very boring. Uh, I, I really I really think that it should be more teams just, you know, to make it go faster because, you know, you play each other four times, you know, and it's hard to beat a team four times because, you know, it's a game of adjustments. Teams, you know, if you if you score maybe individually, if you score 20 points or 30 points in the two times that you play, the third game, third and fourth game, these teams are, are going to adjust to the way you play and their style of playing, and they not, they're not going to let you – score 20 or 30 points the next time you play. So uh, in that aspect, I think it's, it's, it's very boring. It's very boring, and uh, I think it could be the, the league can go a little faster uh, as far as, you know. With, Do we farm, you mean? Yeah, as far as being, you know, the it's, it's longer than most, you know, leagues mm -hmm. with so few teams, mm -hmm. you know. So, but other than that, I mean, I have nothing bad to say about the Belgium League because I respect it a lot. I have a lot of respect for the Belgium League. Which one you play? You, you spoke about uh, all the good players in the league. Which one? Uh, if you had to give some names. Man. Uh, young. You know, just because he's he's a double double guy, you know, in rebounds, he has more than uh, double figures in rebounds and you know points, and uh, you know that team came in second. You know, he's also a good player. Uh, Copeland from Aust, uh, I like. Um, I also like uh, several guys on this team. You know, I mean, we we did finish first with the first place teams and. You know, there are many guys that could easily, you know, be selected this award. But for me, it's a, it's an honor, and I'm 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 very ecstatic. I'm very thrilled, and I'm very grateful. Is it your first personal trophy, or did you receive something else? No, I've, I've had I've, I've had other MVPs and other other uh, awards as well. In Germany, right. I've had a couple of MVPs and uh, two times. Two times, yes, mm -hmm. two times in Germany. I'm never gonna say perfect. I, that's just the type of guy I am. I'm a modest guy. I mean, even if I want to say a 10, I'm not gonna say 10 because I'm human. I've made mistakes, but the good thing about me is that I learn from my mistakes and try not to uh, make them happen again. So if I had to pick a number, I would say, you know, eight, nine, you know. <laughs> but I never say 10. I never say perfect because nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm far from it. Far from it, so. <laughs>